Hello and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So within this video, I'm going to be in Final Cut Pro X and I'm going to be showing you guys how to export your videos with the best possible settings. And again, there's going to be a lot of elements that may determine whether or not you can actually export with the best quality that I'm going to show you. But I will walk you through the whole process of exporting a video within Final Cut Pro 10 Pro. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So as you see here, I have a, a video that I'm working on, a wedding, uh, film that I'm working on and I'm going to want to export this video. So how do I do that? Well, there are a number of ways of doing that. The first thing you can do obviously is the simple one of going up to file. So go to file and then go down to where you see share and then you're going to see a bunch of different options here. Now I will recommend, uh, don't try to do the ones here that show like Vimeo, YouTube, Facebook, all of these. Uh, I want you to be able to kind of narrow down a more uh, description of the actual type of format that you want. So in order to have more control over the final video format, go and select the option here under DVD that says master file. It's going to be uh, the default option there. But another way that you can actually export a video is depending on how you have your workspace set up, you can go up to this option in the very right top corner. It looks like a little square with an arrow pointing up. If you click on that, it's going to give you all of those options that I just showed you. So click on master file, a default there just like that and it's going to allow you to share that so again you can go with that route or you can go to file share and then master file just like so uh, when you click on that you're going to see this option or this dialog box come available to you uh, if you hear all that noise in the background uh, actually if you didn't know this you can actually hover over the video preview within this dialog box and you could actually play through the video so that's actually a pretty cool feature so as you can see here you're going to see info and settings now the one that we're going to want to choose first is going to be settings, but if you look down below, it's going to show you the information. So it's going to show you the resolution, 1920 by 1080, so it's 1080p. It's going to show you the FPS or frames per second, depending on, it's going, that's going to depend on how you shot the video. Then it's going to show you the audio format, which it should be stereo uh, LR, which means left and right speakers, 48 KHZ. Uh, and then you're going to see the actual time of the video here. And then you're going to see the format that it's going to export to, and then the actual size of the file. So this is going to be an MP4 1080p video. Now, if you want to change that, if you want to have more control over the actual video when you export it, go to settings. What you're going to want to do under format is you're going to want to go down and select the option under publishing that says computer. This is going to al allow you to adjust these drop down menus. Now, uh, the H.264 faster encode, I always choose choose the H.264 better quality. Uh, I'm not really going to get into that right now. I, I, just, I would just recommend doing that. Resolution 1920 by 1080. Now, how is this going to be chosen for you? Now, if you have clips that you put in your video that are up to this resolution, you are going to be able to up our export in that resolution. Now, if you have video clips that are say 1280 by 720 and you didn't upscale them and you don't want to do that, it will automatically set to 1280 by 720. So when you start a project out, you need to make sure that you're setting it to the actual resolution that you want to export the video to. Now down here, 4096 by 2160, that's going to be 4K. So like my camera, the Sony a6500, uh, it does output and you can record in 4K. And if that was the case, I would choose that next option. So once you've chosen the video codec, the format and the resolution, uh, take a look down here if you want it to include chapter markers or not. Uh, and then it gives you the option to select the program that you want to open it with. I always choose QuickTime Player because I'm on a Mac. Uh, and what may happen, guys, is that you may see something here uh, when you open the settings tab, it may only be video and audio and that's going to block out the option to change the resolution. So you wanna go ahead and choose the format and go down to computer. This is going to give you the most flexibility in actually being able to choose and edit the type of file that you're going to get whenever you export your video. Once you're done with all of this, click the next option here. It's going to be a blue next option there. And then it's going to open up the, the basically the panel to allow you to select where you want the video to be saved to. I'm gonna save it to the desktop for the purposes of this tutorial and then click the blue save option and then boom, 
It looks like it didn't do anything, but let me show you a, a little pro tip. So basically what happens is you're not going to see like a progress bar. You're going to see something in the upper left-hand corner. It's going to look like a circle that is slowly filling in. If we click on that, we're going to be able to see this box opened right here. It's going to show background task. Right here underneath sharing, if you click the little arrow there, it's going to show you that it is actually working on this process. Now, if you, for some reason, want to cancel this process, you can just hit the little X here and that will cancel that process. So if you wanna see the progress that your video is making when you're exporting it, you can always go to the circle in the upper left-hand corner, click on it, and then you'll see the background task panel come available to you. And that's it, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the X now to get rid of that because I really don't want to export it right now because I'm not finished with it. So I'm gonna X out of that. If you have any other questions about Final Cut Pro that you'd like for me to answer in a specific video, put those in the comment section below. If you'd like me to do more of these Final Cut videos tutorials, uh, something that I'm going to be doing is more of a series because I just started using this a few months back. Uh, I moved from Premiere Pro because I really love the flexibility that this program gives you. And I feel that I'm confident enough now to be sharing all of my, um, I guess you would say, gathered information that I've received from working in the program for so long now. And uh, I would love to do some more video tutorials for you guys. So like the video, share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to slap that subscribe button if uh, technology and you just like me, maybe. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much. Talk to you in the next video.